I was in my element, you know, this was, this was it. Just to feel that, that brush and just a little bit of drag on the paint. You could make that brush do anything that you wanted to. I mean, that's power. It's real power. Don't you think a sign is something that every person somewhere along the line has tried? That we're the ones that just kind of kept on going. I got enough of an ego that tells me that I can do anything I want to do. I liked, I liked working with the brush. Even the way that I describe it to people, oh, what do you do? I'm a sign painter. I paint letters on buildings. I could do whatever I wanted to do and make a living. Every artist is a character. Period. It's an invisible art. It's an invisible industry. People just take it for granted. If you follow every known law in the sign game, you will at least do a sign that works. That's correct. In September 1982, a company came out with a plotter that could actually cut out vinyl letters. You can cut out these many letters out of this many square feet of vinyl and make this much money, and that's what motivated them. None, none of these guys had any background in, sign, in the sign making world. I mean, hundreds of sign painters just threw in the towel. At some point, there's got to be a backlash. I saw a bumper sticker that said, drum machines have no soul. It made a good point. Look all over the city, this is my city. On my gravestone it's gonna say, he died for greater opacity. I think that every human being has the capability of altering their environment for the better with their bare hands. Letters are really cosmic things. You can make any name in the whole universe. Old signs become art. I wanna make signs that turn into art.